going on guys uh thank you for joining me thank you for watching this video um really 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 interesting stuff in terms of content personal development finance sales entrepreneurship i'm going to give you a quick recap of grant cardone's 10x Bootcamp. um probably one of the more crazier more life-changing experiences that i've had in terms of just uh education and obviously just understanding you know, sales and fundamentals of like how you can bring your game, your career, even your life to the next level. Now, there's been a lot of sort of um, hate out there, for lack of a better word, where people think because somebody is at the top, they got lucky and all these things and blah, 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 blah. blah. So I'm not going to focus on that. I'll let you guys decide what you want. You can take away whatever you want from this video. I think at the end of the day, it's going to come down to, are you going to take the commitment? Are you going to make a decision? And are you going to go and try to meet people? I know there's a long pause there because people are like, wait, what are you talking about? Quite simply, if you make a decision to go somewhere, and you're like, this is not even in my domain. This is not even like what it is that I'm trying to do. And you go in there with an open mind, you will be very surprised at what you will accomplish. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, look, I'll be honest. I spent three grand on this trip. I took whatever my bonus check was, put 75% of that into this trip. Um, and I made my money back in probably the first three hours, maybe less. Um, now, the reason for that is quite simply the following. You meet people who are way ambitious, if not more ambitious than what you think you are. So that kind of puts you into perspective as to how big your thinking needs to be. Two, you're getting access to content that is for the 21st century business owner, salesperson, um, whatever it may be. Um, and unfortunately, the reason I said 21st century is because what we're being taught in school, I have a bachelor's degree, um, half of the stuff, if not 75% of the stuff that I've been told or taught in school is actually useless. They're gonna hate me for saying that, but that's okay. And the third thing is, um, what the takeaway was, was any doubt that I had about Grant being, you know, not who he was, was completely gone. Completely just disappeared. The man could literally sit on a beach for the rest of his life and not do anything. He's made it. But he's out here working and meeting people and meeting business owners and offering his help to help them obviously grow and scale their business. It's very difficult after seeing that and obviously meeting him to go back and be like, dude, this guy's a loser. He's not, he really isn't. He's fake, no, he's not, man. He is the real deal. He actually wants everybody in his circle and anybody that he can help to succeed. Now that comes with an investment. That comes with a commitment. That comes with a decision that you need to make as a person. Because what I want to ask everybody right now is, when was the last time you got something for free or went to a free networking event and actually saw some value in there? I'd say about less than 2% of the people watching this video right now would agree with that. It's simple. You pay for what you get. But the other thing too is you have to understand is when you make an investment like that into an event where you know you're going to be surrounded by some pretty incredible people, you have to look at that as an investment in yourself. You, and that's how I looked at this. I looked at it as one, an investment in myself, my personal development, my career, my, you know, my skill set, uh, you know, sales, marketing, finance, whatever it may be. And the other thing too is when you make that commitment and investment in yourself, you need to start thinking long term. I'm seeing a lot of people right now thinking very short term. Those short term wins are important, but you don't need to be a multimillionaire overnight. That doesn't happen. Grant Cardone did not become where who he was overnight. It took him a really long time. And I'll backtrack here. The story that he has is quite remarkable. And I was able to talk to him about it too and ask, ask a particular question because I had a similar problem. So Grant, when he was 25 to 33, just worked his ass off. 
But by working his ass off, it was more just like, he wasn't just like, oh, let me just take my weekends off. The man was working every single day because he was committed to himself. And he knew that the only person that he could trust is himself. And he had a drug problem. He went to rehab. Full disclaimer right now. And I've been open about this. I did have a drug problem too. And I was able to realize that as well. Early on, especially because when you, when you, when, when you go down that path, you do things that are stupid. You're, you're not yourself. And that's what I realized too. So why did I pick him as a potential person to look up to was because I know what it's like to be in that situation. And I want to be where he's at in his life. So I align with this person. So when he started working, it was every day. He wrote his goals down, morning, night, morning, night, morning, night, morning, night, morning, night. And the other piece that he wrote down was when he had a really shitty day where he blew a deal or whatever, whatever it was, he wrote it down again. Because that gives you a sense of purpose and that gives you a sense of urgency. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do that every day. I have my notebook over here. There's pages full of stuff that I'm trying to accomplish. This is all here. It's all in this notebook right now. Do I keep it? Yeah, I keep it on me to write down. Do I look at it? Rarely, but it gives you a sense of purpose. And if that's one thing that I can help you guys take away is that everybody who's probably watching this is curious, number one, to know if this is worth doing. Absolutely. Um, but the other thing that I would say is if you are ambitious and you have stuff that you want to achieve, write them down every day, but also think big, like think to a point where you're like, this is impossible. Because it gets you to be accountable and it gets you to obviously build towards that next step. When you have a gap that's like this and you're only right here and this is the gap you'll, and you're committed to this, to this goal, the next thing you know, you start doing things, obviously ethically, but you start doing things to get you to that next level. And that's what this event was really teaching me about too. Um, so yeah, I mean... Again, he worked his whole life. Um, it, he 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 only turned a, he only turned a million, I think, when he was about thirty five. So it took him ten years, but he was working every day. That just shows you the commitment that the guy had. Um, and then going into where he is now, his brand only blew up in the last seven years. And the reason for that is the following: marketing. But nobody is telling him how to do it. He's just doing it. What he realized was that everybody has this thing right? Everybody's on it. If you're not on it right now, then good for you. But everybody has sort of a problem or an issue because we always need to pick up our phones and understand fully well that, you know, we're flipping through social media like it's, it's like it's candy. So he saw that as an opportunity and ended up saying, I need to be omnipresent. He built his brand on every single uh, social media channel out there. And it's only recently where people are like, oh, who is this guy coming in and like flaunting his stuff? Until you understand his story, until you understand what, his, what, he, what he's all about, until you understand where he came from and obviously meeting him and, and, and engaging with him and just talking to him and being in a three-day seminar about, you know, all these strategies, tactics and trying to implement this moving forward. Then you'll understand where I'm coming from. And then you'll understand where I'm sure a vast majority of other people are coming from as well. You know, I'll be honest, I do not want to live a mediocre life. And I'm sure there's a bunch of you out there like that too, who don't want to live a mediocre life. We want to reach to that point where we don't have to worry about going to different places, you know, but it's on you. And that's what this thing taught me. Now I could dive into the sales strategies I can dive into the tactics that are used, but I don't think that would be fair to a lot of people. I want anybody watching this video who has not attended his event to go to his event. Make the investment, commit to yourself. If you're a business owner, you can actually write that investment off, believe it or not. I think maybe not in Canada, I'm not sure, but if you're in the US, you can definitely write it off. Um, but yeah, make the commitment to yourself. And don't look at it as the dollar amount. Look at it as the value that you're going to get out of something like this. Because the value that I got is actually insane. My network actually just exploded. I think I'm, you know, I've got like two to 300 people following me now from this event or just being around that circle who want to help and engage with you. So 
guys, if there's one thing that I could leave you with, it's, it's really simple. Just write down your goals, figure out what you want, and then just go for it and commit. And if you need to make an investment in yourself, don't look at the dollar signs. Look at it as a long-term play. Because we're only on here for such a short period of time. This planet, you know, we're probably gonna be, I'll probably be alive till I'm like, I don't know, 80, 90, 100. Like, time is flying. Time is money at this point. I'm 26, you know, and I've made a commitment right now. And I've made a commitment to myself. I've made a commitment to obviously the future of my family eventually. So, look, I hope you enjoyed this. Place your comments below. More than happy to answer any questions you guys have. Um, you know, I just won. I just winged this event or this video, excuse me, because you know I had to. I had just had to get it out there. You know, but I will be coming back with more stuff because really, um, there's so much great things out there, and everybody who's on Instagram right now, start using it wisely. Just do that. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Leave your questions, comments below. Give me a follow. You got my Instagram handle down there too. Uh, and I look forward to meeting you and seeing you soon. Take care, guys.